A new licensing process for short-term rentals in San Diego is in effect as of today, and already the most popular licenses are taken, but there is a wait list now building. Fox 5's Misha DeBono is in Mission Beach with what you need to know moving forward if you do plan to rent out your property. If you're renting out a room in your home or your entire home and you're doing it without a license today, you're operating illegally. This new program aims to free up more housing and also to stop what's come to be known as a nuisance. That's parties and trash left behind by short-term renters. Booked through the summer, for sure. New rules for operating short-term rentals in San Diego takes effect May 1st. Under the deadline, short-term rental property owners must have a license issued by the city. Carl Rand is a host and was instrumental in coming up with the permitting process. I'm very, very optimistic that it's going to solve a lot of the problems that it was designed to. Under the new rules, there are four types of licenses. Tier 1 for part-time rentals, Tier 2 for rentals that are a portion of the home, Tier 3 for whole home rentals everywhere except Mission Beach, which is in Tier 4. And only 1% of properties in San Diego can be short-term rentals, except again in Mission Beach where 30% of properties are allowed. By limiting the number of units that can be you know, used as vacation rentals, uh, that helps with the housing supply issue. And then uh, through the enforcement mechanism, uh, that'll help with the nuisance issues like uh, trash and noise and uh, things like that. The license is issued through a lottery system. Rand says 90% of applicants received one. And the city's website as of May 1st says 7,002 licenses have been issued. Mission Beach, though, is maxed out with a waiting list of 189. The applications now form the city's database to serve as the first step in enforcement. The foundation of enforcement is to know First off, who's allowed to operate a vacation rental and who isn't? The city of San Diego is hiring five full-time employees who will be dedicated to enforcement. And online platforms like VRBO will require owners to submit rental operating license numbers or face being removed. I provided mine to VRBO after I got a notice saying, hey, let us know your San Diego license number or we're going to pull you off of our platform. So again, if you are renting out a room or your house right now and you don't have a license, you are doing so illegally. We did reach out to the city. We did not hear back, but we did talk to a representative from Airbnb who says that they were actually participating in meetings last week here in San Diego to help property owners better understand those new rules. From Mission Beach, Misha Bono, Fox 5 News.